Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Dragon Ball Z Card Strategy. We're going to have another one of those sealed box matches here going on between my good friends Angelo and James. They're, of course, playing Radiant Cell versus Red Ascension Trunks. If you guys have been paying attention to any of the posts that are going on from good old Panini, you probably caught a glimpse of what these guys are going to do. Generally speaking, quick DB victories, or at least Dragon Ball manipulations, are the core of any cell deck. Uh, Red Ascension Trunks is just a straight run for an MPPV deck. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, Angelo puts into place uh, the drill that keeps his anger from being lowered for as long as it stays in play. A very effective strategy, though he won't have to worry about it staying in play too long. Looks like he's holding a Blazing Aura drill, or a Red Blazing Aura. And then he drops that one new block from the set, I forget the name of it. He rejuvenates it. James draws three. Pulls out a Namekian Wish. That's the one that ends combat and rejuvenates. <laughs> Silly James playing a... Ignoring somebody with his phone. Okay, James uh, passes, drops Forceful Block, rejuvenates a... Looks like Namekian Finger Lasers. He passes, and it draws his three. He's got an energy attack that banishes a drill. He's using Cell's level one entering effect. That's the one that's going to let him summon an ally from the from the deck to put it into play. Now, you guys got to remember that in one of these sealed tournaments, you don't have access to the whole suite of Cell Juniors, which you would like. Looks like this one has to be the one that came with it. I believe that's the one that comes boxed with it. The one that boosts the damage from any sort of destroying the top from the deck, milling damage, as they say. I'm having trouble seeing Angelo's hand. Wait for James to finish his, <laughs> his shuffling. Man, Red Energy Blast, that was the name of the card. That's the one that raises his anger one, but it's raising his anger two because of Trunk's continuous effect that doubles the anger modifier. Or, I'm sorry, doubles any anger gain. So if it's one, it's two. Okay, does four life cards. He takes the hit. Not sure what James is drawing. Looks like he's gone all offense. Looks like he has two energy attacks, some anger lowering. He's going to have to carefully budget that to make sure he has the stages to actually use them during the course of this fight. Red tends to be a physical style for the most part. That's why I was a little surprised at Angelo's use of the Red Energy Blast. So it looks like he's going to use Red Chest Explosion. He's going to go ahead and pull out another ally. Oh, Cell Jr. I didn't realize he got banished already. My gosh, that was the other target for a Red Energy Blast. How could I forget? So James was one of the lucky guys and opened up a Cell Jr. in one of his packs. Because we got a whole one pack to add to our boxes that day. It's a long story. Chest Explosion hits and shoots it wide open. He uses Red Blazing Aura, hits 5 Anger no problem because of the doubling effect of Trunks Level 1 power. Thankfully the drill in question, the one that keeps Anger from being lowered by any effects, gets discarded. James was wise to try to not waste any of his Anger lowering abilities on that level one, because we couldn't do it. So here's the stinky thing. James has to wait for Angelo to try to start raising his anger before he can start lowering it. The problem with that, of course, is that this particular trunk specializes in making him skip a lot of steps. No, James, don't shuffle him back in. You're going to need those stages. You'll need him to be able to keep flinging the energies. He uses, of course, the Cell Junior ability, the one that lets him shuffle in, destroy, all that fun stuff. If I was uh, James, I probably would have popped the Mechie Wish already. This combat hasn't been going well, and you really need to slow down the pain train of Angela's anger game. He's stacking him with red, red Power Lift. That's one of those attacks that does two things. It's a physical attack. It raises anger, and then, of course, it prevents or stops the next physical attack used against Angelo, which is okay. James got a handful of energies. Oh, 
James, James. Play it in a different order. You gotta save that thing. Okay, it hits Angelo. It is considered successful, so the card says that you can put it back to the top or the bottom of the of the deck. He puts it to the top. Which is a good idea. You're gonna to want to recur that against red as much as humanly possible. And just so confident he checks his phone. James is using, using the mastery to go ahead and pull out a Dragon Ball. Now, as you know, the, the pre-box sets only come with so many. Uh, James opened up a pack with lots of the Dragon Balls, so he was able to throw them in. So he's got more than you might otherwise have in one of these release tournaments. So as you know, he would do, once the mastery says you can summon it once per turn, pull a Dragon Ball into play, he gains anger when that happens. Oh, James passes, combat ends. And Angelo, because of the mastery, gains one anger for free at the end of every combat. It wasn't bad. To be honest, the combat wasn't looking so good for James to begin with. I almost would have had Angelo come up with his four-card hand and then just, bam, end combat and let him waste all those cards. Let him think of a new plan. Okay. James has drawn a handful of cards, not bad. He's taken a decent amount of damage to be able to take advantage of rejuvenation effects. He's got an Amekian Regeneration, he's got a bunch of cards here. Yeah. I opened up my Yeah. Is he in limbo? Go ahead. Don't worry, he won't be there for too long. Okay. James passes the turn, uh, rejuvenates, he holds on to Namekian Regeneration that lets him rejuvenate the top or bottom four life cards of his, or excuse me, uh, cards of his discard pile, so it's good stuff, helping to heal up. Some people might misunderstand and say four, four cards, is that really what I want to hold on to my, uh, you know, put one of these event cards that can get sphered and all that stuff? It's pretty valuable because it can give you one and a third plus more turns. Because a lot of times you'll end up coming up one or two cards short in order to survive a turn. It will add up. Okay, Angelo declares combat. Got a hand again with the good old uh, red energy blast, red blocking hand. Okay, James does uh, the thing that one would naturally do. He couldn't predict that Angelo's holding an ally banishing card in his hand right now. He uses cells when entering effect and grabs an ally and brings him into play. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and open up with uh, good old Red Energy Blast and banish the ally as soon as he gets a chance. James still shuffling, resolving his entering combat effect. He still hasn't actually drawn his three cards, so we haven't seen what he's going to respond with. I literally am going to have to sit here on level one just to lower you down to anger. <laughs> Conveniently timed. I had to agree at my own experiences in this tournament. I couldn't keep a Cell Junior out for more than one action of one turn. It's when he's leaving play, I can banish him. Nice. He used the effect to destroy the top card of Angelo's deck. But he still has to take the hit. A little bit of endurance to wick off some of the damage. So it wasn't so devastating. It's not that Angelo's deck is about the damage, it just generally doesn't. Okay, he's going to use the Namekian Regeneration. He's going to go with the bottom four to rejuvenate them. Now, you remember that phrase when we say the bottom? It means whatever card would be the bottom, would be the bottom, would be the bottom. Because remember, you always rejuvenate cards one card at a time. So it's kind of an odd practice. I used to do it backwards, and I realized in a major tournament, Rejuvenating in the wrong order could cost you the game. Okay, and there he goes. He's up to level three. He's leveled up that quick. Using Cell's power. Again, James is forgetting to make you wishes out there. He really need. He, why, why even stay in this combat? What's the point? It's neat, but he's still at level one, so good old hybrid defense is not going to do the work that it should be doing. I don't know if James could afford to just take the hit and laugh it off. He could gain the stages right back. That's probably what his strategy is going to be. Yeah. So he takes the damage, gets knocked to zero. He's going to go ahead and uh, throw a good old heel kick, which allows him to gain five stages and gain some of his power stages back. 
So it was worth it. Uh, I assume though he wanted to run into a bit more endurance before he threw that, so it wasn't so devastating. Red blocking hand, of course, raises his ability. I don't know if you remember Trunks level one or level three ability. That's the one that says you can't lower his anger any more than one anger at a time. So it can make it a painfully slow slog. I realize the Gohan ally is maybe going to have to be my go-to going forward as an anti-anger for MPVs going forward. Since they gain anger at such an astounding rate, making it just go down to one no matter what. This one is a physical attack. I got to stop the next action. Uh, okay. Next one I raise my other tools. Go! Maybe if I had three more supremacy suits and took them all out with red hands and combat. Oh, now James remembers good old Mechie Wish. It's a wise idea, but he could have done it when and filtered a bunch of cards out of Andrew's hand to give him a chance to use Red Destiny, all that stuff. It would have been great. What are you doing, James? I use one of those, but it's not very A supremacy suit? Yeah, white supremacy suit. White supremacy suit? So are those going to be the two new armors? In oh, the next one? we made a little joke about Warhammer. If you guys know the towel, that might be funny to you. It's okay if you don't. Okay, it's uh, James' turn. He begins and he grabs a couple of non-combats. Uh, looks like he grabs... Is that Concentration? I can't remember the name of that card. That's the one that in between turns you get to rejuvenate, which can be very helpful. Let's do it. Okay, he rejuvenates and raises an anger. And he got his own natural one. Did he forget? James, you were supposed to... Oh, no, he probably did. Okay, I mean, uh, I may have just missed it. And he should have actually rejuvenated a total of five, but he leveled up to two. This game should get interesting. Oh, yeah. So not only can you not lower Angelo's anger, you can't lower... I mean, not can't lower more than one. You can't lower it at all with that particular drill in place. You've got Red Destiny. And then just play it. That's what I have to do. And it's so annoying. James' assessment is correct. Ball 2 is his only consistent way to deal with the situation. Because anger lowering isn't going to happen anymore. Aha! 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 Anyone else catch the Namekian flinch that showed up in James's hand? Come on, enter combat, grab one of the cells. Cell juniors, rather. Don't even, don't even pretend. James, you know exactly what you have to do. There's no time. <laughs> he rejuvenates and rejuvenates. He pulls it from play with cells. Cell level two's ability to yank an ally from anywhere, which is good. Uh, basically, the premise is that he just poops out another cell junior. Okay, what's Edge holding there? He's gonna hold his hand. He tends to not fan him out. Oh, <laughs> hit him with the mill effect right away from cell's power. I wish you would turn cell sideways just so I would be able to notice that it's been used. Okay, he uses Mastery Effect, banishes one card from the top of a style that makes his opponent skip. Edge does what you expect him to do. He levels to level four. Uh, he may have forgotten to discard his drill. Come on, Edge, discard that drill. Okay. Again, again. He's, uh... There we go. James remembered for him about the drill. Uh... Put it on top, James. You're gonna need the. Thing. Oh, I guess. Red Smash. Okay, Red Smash. I don't recall what this card's effect is, and I apologize. A lot of the new set I haven't. I literally haven't seen a lot of the new set. This release tournament was on the small side. We didn't buy a whole lot of boxes. I didn't spend a whole lot of time with it. No. Too bad I don't have an ally in my discard pile. So he shuffles ball two in. Uh, I feel like Andrew's already at striking distance of it. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that I put this on here. There's a little bit of soft music playing in the background. It's the piano theme from Terminator. So, though James is putting up a valiant effort here. He uses Red Destiny, raises anger two levels, pass. And he uses Trunks level four ability, raises his anger two levels, and PPV. If this match taught you anything, it should teach you that 
Trucks is a ticking time bomb in this form and will MPPV pretty readily. Unless you have a hard anger reduction, your winner is going to be Trunks MPPV. See you next time.